What's up guys? Welcome to your 10th Android tutorial. F no, 11th. My bad. 11th Android tutorial for the new Boston again with me, Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically um, set up some resources and then set up a, a background image for our splash screen that we're going to create. And basically I want you guys to you know, create some sort of background image and it doesn't have to be perfect like like the dimensions I'm not positive exactly which dimensions you guys will want to use what I used for this image I believe was 400 by 600 and then just create something simple it doesn't have to be beautiful or anything um, obviously this one's pretty sketchy I just copied this off the new Boston website and then put a black background for the most part and then make sure when you save it it's all lowercase um, and save it as like a PNG so again, make sure the name is all lowercase. And then also you guys want to create maybe a sound that you might want to put in for application because we're going to add a sound as well. Make that MP3. Again, make sure everything's lowercase. Otherwise, you're going to get some problems. So I created both a sound and just a quick wallpaper. And what we're going to do is basically put those in the right place that we're going to need so we can use them in Java and XML and all that good stuff. So I'm going to open up my finder or basically, you know, my computer or whatever. And uh, within here, I saved it again, the project or workspace under our documents. And I called it the New Boston. And then we set up our project called the New Boston as well. And then we have a resource folder. And uh, here's our drawable. That's where we're going to drag and drop this image into our drawable high def or basically high density um, Per inch folder and that's good you know you can do three different resolutions if you guys want I'm lazy so I'm not going to uh, the other thing we want to do is do our splash in um, or our sound into our RAR folder and again if you guys don't have a RAR folder folder you want to set that up not too difficult and there we go um, we basically added resources to our project now and again, you guys might have wanted to just drag and drop them into this actual folder. I believe that won't work. I don't. Th I don't think that will work. Um, you guys actually want to go into where your workspace was located and where your project was set up and um, save them there. So there you go. We added resources. If you look, they aren't added yet. What we need to do is go up to Project, the Project tab, and go to Clean. That'll kind of clean our project out a little bit update everything and rebuild it there we go we have our splash background and our splash sound now what we want to do is set up a new layout that's just gonna have this image that we imported as the background for a splash activity basically what a splash activity is um, it just appears for five seconds tells the people your name plays a little music and it's over so it's it's not not all that important but we want to make our app too legit to quit if you know what I'm talking about so what we're gonna do is right click on this uh, layout here and then go to other and then under this uh, Android folder again we're gonna click Android XML to set up a new layout we hit next and then we have a we have to label our layout and we're gonna label this splash and you also have to put dot XML and make sure it has the layout tab it should and we're good to go we're just gonna hit finish and there we go we have a blank slate to work with we're just gonna do one thing real simple um, again we're just going into the code section we're just gonna set up this linear layout uh, have the background image be that resource we just added and you guys are probably wondering what's this match parent basically it's pretty much the same thing as fill parent in this case so you won't have to worry about it I mean we can change that to fill parent if you want so basically it's going to take up the whole screen and then we want to use the Android code called background I wasn't completely positive but uh, <laughs> anyways it's called background and then how we reference it we're gonna say at drawable well, let's just do it this way hit equals and then at drawable forward slash and then our actual image name again you guys might you if you guys didn't label these properly if you had like a uppercase letter it's gonna mess up your project then you're gonna get all confused so make sure those are lowercase and then clean your project again 
So then we're going to say at drawable and then splash undercase background is what I labeled my background image as. And you, if you put the PNG or the extension, you're going to get an error as well. So you don't want to put the extension on when you're referencing your back or your drawable folder. Now we're just going to save it and check it out. Looks pretty fantastic if you ask if you ask me. So that's a quick tutorial, basically how to set up a new layout and use the background function from the Android and also get some resources in our project. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.